Dear judges, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Mio Izudin bin Baharudin. My participant ID is CT00010. My title of research is Isolation and Identification of Bacteria from Pythoremulation Plant of Heliconia Pistocorum. I'm a student from University of Malaysia, Kelantan, Campus Jeli. Introduction Contaminated soil and water give significant impact on environmental and pyrotechnology has proved to be an effective and economical technique. The words of pyrotechnology is from Greek which means plant related and renovation which means implies cleaning. In this study, Heliconia pistocorum was used as model phytoremulation plant and bacteria were isolated to identify whether it helps in phytoremulation or not. As these plants were taken from local area in Trono and transplanted into the system, water quality testing was done in order to know the phytoremulation activities. This could be done using a culture-based method which generally involves isolating target bacteria on general or selective media. Research background The growth of the agriculture and industrial sectors in today's challenging economic environment is inevitable. Thereby, it becomes a catalyst for the economic growth of a country. However, human activities have affected the natural environment, especially through industrialization and agriculture. Phytoremulation is a technology that utilizes biodiversity to remove pollutants from water, soil, and air, which technologies is rapidly expanding and commercialized. Problem statement. The urbanization and industrialization in different agriculture practice has immense effect to the environment. The conventional method to reduce both organic and inorganic are hard to manage, thus it is very costly. Furthermore, it can disrupt the, oil eco the soil ecosystem and human health due to metal accumulation. Although there are many kinds of research on the effectiveness of Heliconia pistocorum on constructed wetland or pyrotechnology, there is still underlying microbial analysis in which little research has been done to this plant. Research question: First, to determine the concentration of bacteria in Heliconia pistocorum roots and soil. Second to isolate and identify bacteria strains using differential media and API identification kits. Here is my literature review that I've been using for my research. Literature review continue. Here is the research framework. First, sample selection. Selection of suitable sample effluent which fit the purpose of the study must be done. Second, background information of the sample. The background information of the freshwater stream farm area must be collected such as the characteristic of the effluent, volume of effluent, discharge parameter of effluent, area of fresh stream farm as one of the steps in the study. Third, plant field study. The ornamental plant is Heliconia pistoporum will be collected. The plant will be collected in area Trono nearby to University Technology Petronas. Research framework continue. 4. Measurement of plant group. Measuring the plant group such as size of plant, height, leaf and roots. 5. As built as experimental plant, the research will be used the existing experimental plant that already been developed in the UTP. 
two S bit rectangular basin plant were used for the entire experiment with one of the basin used as a control with no helicona pistocorum plant. Research framework continue. Six control sample and method. Effluent from the freshwater stream pond was pumped using peristaltic pumps into the tanks via plastic tubing. Each plastic tube was 6 meter in length and they were sprayed with lead spray in order to prevent algae growth in the channeling tubes. The flow rate of the pump was set at 12 liter per day. A two week acclimatization period was set to stabilize the Holocuna pistacorum. At the start of the experiment, Three young shoots of helicona plants of the same size were placed in the compartment of each wetland basin. The test sample before and after treatment were analyzed for selective parameters such as pH, electric conductivity, total suspended solid, TDS, BOD, COD, nitrate, phosphate and sulfate. Research framework continue. 7. Comparing the result with using the API identification test kit to determine the concentration of bacteria in Helicona pistocorum roots and soil to isolate and identify bacteria strains using different media and API identification kits. API means Analytical Profile Index. It's a commercial system to identify different bacteria. Methodology First, sampling and processing plants roots. Plants of Heliconia pistocorum were obtained from UFT Technology Petronas. There were three samples of Heliconia pistocorum plants, which were plants in plant 1, plant 2, and plant 3. For every three samples of the plant, two samples, soil and roots were collected. Sampling and processing plants roots. First sample, soil. Roots were carefully cleaned to remove the loosely adhered soil and weighed 5 gram sample. Second sample, roots. Roots were cut into 10 cm parts, dry on a paper towel and weighed into 5 gram of sample. Next, 5 gram sample of roots and soil were still truly in 45 ml of 0.85% of saline buffer solution and left to stand to allow the bacteria migrate from the tissue of the plant into the suspension. Forming serial dilution. Here is the method for serial dilution. Both sample, soil and roots were serial diluted. First dilution of bacteria suspension on a glass test tube consists of 9 ml saline water was added. The process was repeated for another 7 test tubes which are the dilution up to until all the next class test tubes were diluted. The plate then incubated for 18 to 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Here is the diagram of serial dilution into three different agar. Counting technique. In the counting technique, it was recommended to get plates that have about 30 to 300 colony forming units. The colony were counting using formula below. Picking bacteria colonies and colony culture. The colony was then isolated accordingly to colony morphology characteristics such as shape, margins, and elevation. Colony then culture into 10 ml nutrient broth incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 18 to 24 hours. Bacteria suspension from both from broth was stricted into nutrient agar and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 18 to 24 hours. Here is the biochemical testing for gram-negative bacteria. Biochemical testing for gram-positive bacteria. Identification of bacteria by using API kits. 
I'm using the twin API 20E means identification of Enterobacteria CA and other non-fastidious gram-negative bacteria. API 20NE means non-Enterobacteria CA microorganism. API staff identify staff for local microorganism and all the results interpret at the website biometrics.com. Here is the result and discussion. All the six sample of roots and salt were analyzed by serial dilution to determine the colony of bacteria that present in the water and salt as shown below. The result shows bacteria concentration of salt and roots from plant 1. Here is the result for bacteria concentration of salt and roots from plant 2. Here is the result and discussion continue. For comparison, the diagram shows the comparison of bacteria concentration of soil and roots from plant 1 and the comparison of bacteria concentration of soil and roots from plant 2. Next is the result for bacteria concentration of soil and roots from plant 3. Here is the result for comparison of bacteria concentration of soil and roots from plant tree diagram. Next, result and discussion continue. McConkey agar has the capability to grow gram negative bacteria when there is a presence of bile, salts, and crystal violet dye in the agar. The colors of the colony are black, pink, yellow, and colorless. Next, Manitol Sat Agar was used in this study as a differential media for gram-positive bacteria as well as to isolate Streptococcus family bacteria. Next, gram staining and microscopy analysis. The shape that were obtained from the four bacteria are all gram-negative bacilli. Gram-negative bacilli are very common in causing pathogenic disease and also a common bacterium in pathogenation. The largest group of gram negative bacilli are from the family Enterobacteriaceae that are found in soil, water, and normal enteric flora and of humans, including animals. Next is the sum a result for plants growth promoting bacteria. The isolated colony are gram positive based on the purple staining. The shape that was obtained from the colonies is all caucus in shape. All the isolated bacteria were observed un under total magnificence using all immersion with illustrated in the diagram below. Next is the bed. Uh, result for bacteria E to G from gram staining of gram positive bacteria. Here is the result for identification of bacteria using biochemical assays. Biochemical assays were used for microbial identification of the isolated bacteria based on their biological response to the chemical. Below is the result. Here is the result for bacteria identification bacteria for E, F, and G. The result is positive. Sign indicates positive result. Next, here is the identification of bacteria result by using API kits, API staff, API 20NE, and API 20E. Here is the result for testing API 20 and E. Here is the result for testing API 20 E. Next, the differential agar that were used are nutrient agar, which isolated commonly common or overall bacteria. McConkey agar is used to isolate gram-negative bacteria and 
Manitol set agar for gram positive bacteria. To put it simply, the concentration of gram positive bacteria is higher compared to the gram negative bacteria in all the plant sample. Here is the reference that have been used for this study. Acknowledgement. This work was financially supported by the Ministry of Education Malaysia under the Niche Research Grant Scheme and also University of Malaysia Kelantan. Special thanks also to University Technology Mara, UITM Arau Perlis and also University Technology Petronas UTP for the good collaboration for this research study. Thank you.